All right, say that all over. What do you think they need? They need wheels, uh -huh. gas tank, uh -huh. tires, uh -huh. and they need a new shiny paint. Uh -huh. Anything else? And that's it. That's all they need? Mm -hmm. Well, that makes it sound pretty easy, Bubba. Yeah, it We have to get the flat tires, then put them back up to shiny new tires. That's right. Well, as usual, <coughs> we've decided to do something stupid. And Bubba and me and Tony went this morning and after church and picked up two Honda three-wheelers. And we're going to see what we can do about making two Honda three-wheelers into one functional Honda three-wheeler. Because you can imagine uh, we went the cheap route. But we have a good motor, supposedly. And we have a frame, an extra frame, some pegs. What are we going to use? Looks like maybe we'll end up using the handlebars and the front forks off one. Swap them onto the one that's got rear tires and an engine in it. And you probably want to see these devils. These are them. This one says 200S on it. I'm not sure. They've got a VIN here somewhere. I haven't really looked at them that hard. They were just in the yard. I was like, yep, we want them. And then this should have a VIN. Same place. Looks like it was last legal in 85. It's got a compression release here. Let's scroll that out a little bit. Yeah. Got one good carburetor, looks like. Exhaust. Got another muffler that's thrown in over here and somewhere if i remember right on these motors it'll have a stamping saying what they are a high low levers broke off but we can fix something for that cdi that's some tape but it's not aftermarket connectors with this mess here, an idiot light, power wire for the starter, so we can check out. Looks like we had something going on there. We have everything but a seat, and as this is going to be my around the house tug, we may not need it, but we'll keep this one over here long enough to figure all this out, and then we'll send her down the road. So, that's that. I have been told this one ran when parked. And we've all heard that before, so I don't know how good that's going to be for us. You find anything good down there, Bubba? Yep, I just found one oh, pedal right here. Needle's moving in the carburetor. That's a good sign. Ooh. Oh. Eric says the rear brakes are pretty stiff. And the front brake <clears throat> won't hardly move, but that's okay. So, got an airbox there, got an airbox over here, got an extra handle that survived the trip in the trailer. I think we're set, Bub. What about you? I think we're set too. Okay. I we think need? we're going to take it front end off that one over there. The whole front end. And I'm going to put it on the front end. end over here. And then we'll worry about plastics later. But we can take a mess of these bolts off. Boy, that was on there good. Can they keep that plastic stuff? Not right now. We'll see how much of it we end up using. And uh, let's see. Chain. Oh, yeah. We got a chain in there. And this one's muffler is different than that one's. It's so like that's chains. right, just like your bike has chains. So we'll try and use the chain off that one to put on that one. And look for a lever for the high low gearbox, which has apparently been off. And that's the shifter. 
So we don't have a good, well. Ooh, she turns. She turns real, well, there's a little bit of compression. So that's good. And uh, oh, really this is the, yeah. This is the intro, this is them. Got rear wheels, we're gonna put some air in them. Oh, and then we'll swap cool. the front end off. Yeah, that's your uh, rear rear brakes, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, we'll see if we can get her to hit. If not, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Can I end up pulling the top end off. Me, 